Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series. In the last episode we got all the materials and skills required for our forge. Let's turn off our MP3 player. It's nighttime, unfortunately we can't construct in the dark. Actually, our kiln is, no, our kiln is off. Okay. Uh, so we did get charcoal out of our kiln. Not as much as I really would like. I would have liked to have seen this number up in the 2000s. Uh, but we were trying to just quickly get some done for the forge when we got to the forge. So let's go ahead and drop this charcoal. And we don't need the wood smoother either. That can go into the, the fire uh, wood pile. We don't need that. Inventory. Don't need the home wrecker either. So we can't construct at night, unfortunately, so we will probably have to wait until morning to do this. If the kiln is lit, it provides a very small amount of light. Can we cut logs at night? Uh, we don't have the general repair kit anymore, so let's grab that. Uh, repair. Grab that. It used duct tape to cut down the trees, which is pretty dumb, but it is just the way it works. So can we cut the tree trunk into logs in the dark? Well, apparently we can, so we'll do this. This will kill a bunch of time, and it's something that we ultimately are going to want to do anyway. So probably by the time we get this done, it'll be like 5 a.m. before we do both of these. So let's go ahead and cut the other one as well. Actually, it did not take as long as I thought it would, so it looks more like 3 o'clock will be done. That is faster than I thought it was, so that's nice. But this will give us a lot of logs. We can throw some more stuff in our... In our kiln, we don't need a ton. That's the wrong button. We don't, we cannot haul items here. Where did our logs go? Oh, that's real dumb. Uh, so we cut down the logs. Now stop hauling. We cut down the log on this tile and it simply vanished from existence because it can't be on the same. Oh, it's hidden underneath. Let's go grab our shovel. Gotcha. So some items, I didn't know it was still like this. I thought this was fixed. What What's the tool we're looking for? I don't remember. It's over here. Entrenching, entrenching. Oh, I did put it on the tool pile. Okay. Grab our entrenching tool. So basically there are some things in the game. Uh, apparently this is one of them. Some of them are, uh, I don't see any here. It's rubble from like building collapses. Sometimes it's in the forest. And basically, if something is on that tile, you actually have to dig the tile in order to get the items that are underneath. So you'll see once we cleared up the pile of ash, there's actually logs underneath here. So we'll go ahead and grab all this stuff and we'll please with the messages. Uh, please with the messages. We'll come over here and uh, we will dump these again in our kiln. Nope. Logs into the kiln. Great long stick into the kiln and we'll fire that up again so that that's working in a, to our benefit. We're tired again. <sighs> I guess we go to sleep. Give me the noise canceling headgear. And we don't need the entrenching tool anymore. Yeah, so if you ever see an item like that and you're like, well, why, why there were items here? I can't. Uh, and it'll give you that message. It'll say, you know, if only you had a shovel. Um, and if you get that message, it means you can dig that tile to get access to the items underneath. So let's go to bed here. And when we wake up, we'll build the forge. Hopefully, please just go to sleep. We're tired. Just go to sleep. Okay. When we wake up, hopefully it's still daylight outside and we can build that forge before the, the nighttime comes. It is a little bit frustrating. So we're on day eight now. And uh, around day 8, day 10 is when you'll start noticing the first evolutions of monsters. The fastest evolutions start at about, uh, they have a half-life of 8, which means that they start around, usually around that time, within 8 to 10 days, you'll start to notice it. Mostly, this is not a big deal. Like, the uh, headless zombies will upgrade to their next tier form, but we'll still see the old versions. It's not like everything upgrades at once. So... It's, it's just we will start noticing increased monster density. We've been not looting. We've been spending our time grinding our skills, trying to get some of our tools together, stuff like that. And when that happens, it's a, it's a balance in Cataclysm. You have to balance, I should be looting versus I need to upgrade my skills. I need to do some reading. I need to train whatever. I need to build this item. That kind of stuff is a balance because if we spend the first you know, three weeks of the game, getting all of our skills up as high as we can, 
um, and training and building a lot of items, well, that's great, but zombies are out there upgrading. And if we find ourselves low on food and all of a sudden everything's upgraded, it can be hard to go out and loot. Similarly, there are labs in the game, which we haven't found any yet. Um, again, I think this is like a prime candidate for a lab location. So is this one, these little spokes that kind of end out in the middle of nowhere. Oftentimes we'll have labs. Labs are very valuable. They have a lot of really high quality tools and, and they, you're a great place to find weapons and firearms and stuff. And if you find them in the early game, it's very important that you hit them as early as possible because it's before the monsters start upgrading. So it's a, it's a balance of trying to know when to do things. So I'm feeling a little bad that we've been spending so much time raising our skills. Honestly, again, this is just like, because of my personal life, this is just what I want to be doing right now. There we got about double the charcoal we had originally uh, from that one burn. So we have charcoal. Let's build the, the forge. So go ahead and build the forge. We're looking for forge. Uh, we need our digging tool and our hammer again. So entrenching tool. Nope, that's a lantern. And one of our hammers. Great. We'll head back out here. And we'll build ourselves a forge. Rock forge. It's listed as a rock forge. In recipes, there is no rock forge requirement. It counts as a charcoal forge for the purposes of crafting. So if you go to a crafting item and it says, oh, you need a charcoal forge, this counts as that. It is a charcoal forge. It's just listed in the construction menu as a rock forge. So here we're 95% of the way. Didn't take super, super long. You'll see we can't see through the forge. Um, so it does block our line of sight, but that's okay. So now we have that available to us. So if we go to something that requires the forge, let's say tongs, um, you'll see we actually, oh, it's not loaded, right? Right, we take the charcoal and we examine the forge. It will prompt us how many charcoals we wanna add. We'll just add all of them because we don't need it for anything else. I don't know if you can, un you can unload it. So even if you put too much in, you can take it back. But anyway, let's go to tong. Um, you'll see we now have a charcoal forge available to us. Still need an anvil to do a lot of this stuff, and we're going to need a lot of metal for that. Did we? We did grab a bunch of metal. Where did I dump my metal? Lump of steel. Yeah, we'll take those. We'll head out here. We talked about this a little bit. What we need for most items with the forge, we're going to need an anvil for sure. It requires 40 lumps of steel and a crucible. Yeah, we never did make a crucible. Crucible. Uh, so crucibles, metal crucibles were removed from the game. You can't craft them anymore, so they have to be made of clay. And it requires a brick kiln or an electric kiln. Oh, just a fire. Yeah, we can make that. Uh, problem is you need lumps of clay. Used to be lumps of clay only appeared in certain locations, usually around rivers. Um, in this tile set, it's basically like a gray circle. Um, so we would have noticed it if we had seen it. But there was a change pretty recently where if you dig a hole you will occasionally get clay out of it. So we'll just dig a few holes, hopefully find some clay. No clay, huh? Okay, try again. I don't know how common it is, and I'm not sure if it matters what tile we dig, because we're in this kind of burnt foresty area. Oh, this is taking much longer to dig. Why is it taking so much longer? Like it's much slower. Why, uh, why though? It was the same option, wasn't it? It did give us five lumps of clay, which is what we needed to, uh, and you'll see we have a pit here now. Is there a pit here as well? Flat, flat. I must have done something different. Entrenching tool. No, I thought I dig, I thought I did dig pit twice. Whatever, don't fall in the hole. Uh, it's, a sh it's a pit. Okay, yeah, don't wanna fall in that. So we're gonna need a fire, so let's get a crucible put together. We'll throw the wood smoother in the fire because we don't care about this. Man, we're going to need a lot of metal for this. Uh, burn this. Clay. Nope, can't type. Clay. Crucible, yes. You'll see there are other things you can make out of clay. But honestly, it's usually that you can just find them elsewhere. So there's no reason to make your own clay stuff unless you're like doing an In the Woods playthrough. We're in pain because of the heat being near the fire. That's not good. Character's very unhappy. We really need to get into some lighter clothing, but I've been largely ignoring that. You'll see we're quite quite warm here. Go ahead and remove trench coat, remove the motorcycle pants while we're out here working. 
Uh, actually, the compression shorts probably are the warmest thing. Still warm on our mouth and hands. Yeah, again, Cataclysm, lately the temperature seemed a little bit too much. Um, you'll see like our mouth, oh, we are wearing a scarf. Well, that makes sense. But currently on our hands, all we have are these uh, leather gloves and they're only five heat. And you'll see that our heat on our hands is 31. So it doesn't really make sense that even if we take the gloves off, really that significantly reduced it, even though it only says five warmth. Okay, maybe I was misreading them. 25 warmth. I was looking at encumbrance. Well, that makes sense. That makes way more sense. We're also very hungry and thirsty because all that took us a long time. Our bird eggs are going bad. Let's uh, make some some eggs. I don't know. Just make some scrambled eggs. They're going to go bad anyway. I don't, don't really care. We have so much perishable food. There's no reason to even do this. We could just eat a bunch of our perishable food, but... And you'll see it didn't even use the old bird eggs, so it's like, what was the point of that? Um, you would think it would prioritize things with a low shelf life. Anyway, we just ate a million eggs. Let's go ahead and drink. Uh, you know, we don't need to drink always water. Drink a little beer. We'll go to water. Clean water. Great. Uh, so we have the crucible, which is great. That's a start. We're just going to leave our crafting tools out here. There's really no reason to, to take them inside. We don't need the entrenching tool anymore, though. So we'll dump that. And we'll dump... No, we want to keep the metal out here as well. So we'll dump the metal on this pile. So we're going to need a lot of metal, huh? Give me the hacksaw. And we're just going to go gather a bunch of metal, I guess. Did we decide if we could get lumps of steel from... I don't, I don't know where's the zombie. Way over there. Uh, let's wield our spear while we're out here. Really dumb to not wear it, to wield it. Um, problem is, we're not wearing our gear, so we could potentially get into some trouble. Seems unlikely, though. I'm going to go over here and kill these zombies, because they're just going to wander over and give us trouble anyway. Okay. Okay. Great. Turn off sprinting while we move and stuff. Actually, we were just going to stand still, so it didn't matter. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy. Garbage on them, of course. So let's just continue looting some metal. Do we have more frames? No, just sheet metal. What does this give when we butcher it? Small sheet metal? No, that's not going to work for me. We want frames that preferably don't have a lot of other stuff on them so that they can be quickly removed. I didn't bring my wrench, so I can't take the door off. Great. Great. Just remove this stuff. Ignore. <sighs> and we'll gather up some metal. Ignore. Please, dog, just leave me alone. Okay. And then we'll butcher the frame, which we talked about before. It takes a long time, but it gives us a lot of lumps of steel, which are like the biggest chunks of metal that we're going to be able to find. In fact, can we use any other kind of metal? For those what was I making anvil we could just take the frames back it's weird it requires why it requires 40 lumps of steel which is two frames worth of steel but it requires four frames which would be double the lumps of steel requirement just seems seems like nonsense uh, to me any other easy frames we could grab? I mean, we could take, I think, seats aren't frames. What? What's a frame? A board is a, f no, is not a frame. None of these things are frames. An aisle might be. I don't think it is, though. Yeah, let's just try to grab another easy frame here. There are other materials that we get. Oh, good, it's dark, so now we can't even do vehicle work. There are other, you know what, put your clothes on. Let's just go to the electronic shop. We're already out here. We can't do much at night anyway. Doesn't matter. What do we have in our inventory? Just a hacksaw. We didn't bring the shopping cart with us, but it's fine. Let's go see if we can get in this uh, electronic shop. Take off your noise canceling headgear so we can actually hear things. I wondered when I was fighting enemies why it was so quiet. It was because I was wearing the noise canceling headgear. So let's see if we can get in this electronic shop. We haven't really pushed that far over. 
So we don't know for sure what's over there, but I think we'll be mostly okay. We have a nice big vision radius. I had someone comment and say that using uh, night vision and having a high perception is like cheating, which I get why you would say that. Um, looks like a survivor zombie. Why, why didn't I smash you when we were here before? And some um, vending machines with junk food in them. Usually I would take the beverages like the apple cider and stuff because I'm not sure what all has a health bonus in the game. So like I always take the tea when I see the tea, but we want to hit the electronic shop so we might end up carrying a lot of stuff back. So once again, we're moving in the darkness to a place we've never been before. We know that the only safe place we're aware of is behind us. So if we need to retreat, we will be retreating in this direction because we don't want to retreat into the darkness and risk getting into trouble. Now, the electronic shop is one of the shops that has an alarm on it. Did we bring lockpicks? Use your lockpick where? Right there, obviously. Okay. We did open it. So if the zombies come here and start smashing windows, alarms will go off. If we smash this to get the battery system CBM, the alarm will go off. Uh, so we need to be a little careful. There's a zombie to the north. I think we would like to kill him before he would come over here. Okay, you're faster than me because my... Why Why were you faster than I expected? Doesn't matter. Kill him. Garbage. We'll wait a few turns, see if anything hurt our combat. Doesn't seem like it, so we'll just head back inside. Anyway, electronic shops are good. Um, sometimes they can spawn electric zombies inside of them, so that's something to be aware of. Um, looks like these things actually come with batteries. We'll actually take both of those. I don't need all the headlamps, though, so we'll just take the battery out of that one. Floodlight, this is a vehicle part. Uh, they're pretty good, uh, but they're also findable in the world. We'll take it, I guess, and drop it if we don't need it. You'll see we also get electronics books. Problem is we already have both of these. Some scrap metal. Soldering iron is always good. We'll take the transponder circuit. It's miscellaneous electronic stuff that we need for crafting. Uh, you'll see we have some washing machines, which is a weird thing. It's a dryer, my mistake. It's a weird thing to have in an electronic shop because it's a dryer, but whatever. Um, and then terminals can also be deconstructed for a lot of parts, which is pretty great. Microwave also, electronic parts. We're not going to carry a microwave with us. Vacuum sealer can be used for certain crafting recipes. Multi-cooker? Professional grade multi-cooker. Battery slot for camping trips or tailgating. Multitude of settings and features. Promise to handle any sort of cooking. So it's just um, instead of using a fire, we would plug a battery in this and use it for crafting. It also has a lot of electronics in it that we might want, but I'm not going to take such a big item with us. We don't need another MP3. Uh, we will take the disposable battery out of the game system. Is this stereo systems, I think? Yeah, more stuff we could take apart for parts. We're not really looking for that at the moment. I was looking for big stocks of copper wire, which we're actually not finding. There's actually not that much here. Trap and field we'll take. It's a book for trapping. Uh, anything up here? Joint torsion ratchet CBM. We haven't talked about bionics yet. That's still a long way away before we start installing bionics but if you see cbms you should take them can't really see what's back here let's pull no let that go grab this one we can't grab this one pull it out okay you're just in the way get out of here um pull this one over can't because there's stuff in the way okay stop stop grabbing Pull this out. A little annoying that you have to do this uh, because obviously if this were a real store, you would not do this. What is this? Just more ink tablets. I mean, we'll take them because these are relatively small. They do have batteries in them as well. Um, can I, I, I literally can't grab that and pull it out. <sighs> it's annoying because it's supposed to be a display. You hear wump to the southeast. Sounds like things are trying to break out of this door. What building is this? Sex shop. Well, I'm sure somebody just piled that up with joke monsters, which is just uh, real dumb, but whatever. Okay, get through here. 
Yeah, we'll grab the tablets because they can be harvested. Okay, can't get in the back room apparently. Or this room. Okay. Oh, we didn't get it. You know what? I just I don't want to deal with this. Just smash the door down. Definitely we'll take the copper wire. Solar backpack is like um you wear it and it accrues power and you can use it to plug into yourself if you have a CBM. Uh, I think is the only use for it. Take the safety glasses, we'll take a solar cell. Take the small electric motor. More copper wire and solar cells. We'll take anything in the fridge. Some stuff we don't really want, it's fine. Okay, get your stamina back. Okay, not a lot here. Since we have inventory space and we're gonna be heading back, um, we will grab some more miscellaneous electronic stuff just because I don't really know what is the best thing to grab. Oh, these are sealed displays. This kit is a uh, radio car box, which we can take apart if we move it to our tile. We can take it apart for... Never mind, we butchered it by accident. Always exciting. So it's not gonna give us anything, so that's cool. Is this a camera? Some books. Yeah, so at this point, I'm going to smash this display case and take the CBM. Oh, it did not set off an alarm. I thought it would. Okay. Uh, so we didn't get a whole lot. We did get some copper wire, which is nice. We got some miscellaneous electronics we can take with us. What we're going to do, since we're already up here... Oh, it's pretty far away. I was going to say we'll check the gun shop. But I think it'd be better to come out... Well, we've already been up here. No, we haven't. Why is it flashing? Toggle, how do we do this? Toggle auto notes or something. What is it? Um, looking over here, list notes, L. Nope, that's, that's no, that's not what I want. Uh, it doesn't, why is it blinky? It's not blinking anymore? Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why it was blinking. Because I was hovered over this area, I guess. So we've never been up here. I would love to get into the gun shop. Would love, love, love to get in the gun shop. Problem is, we haven't been up there. And I'm just nervous moving in the darkness like this. We'll, we'll give it a go. I mean, they haven't seen me. We'll just leave them alone. We'll give it a shot. But I'm nervous. I don't raid at night much anymore. So I'm not super practiced at it. I think we kind of want to clear out stuff as we see it just because it'll fall in our wake and then possibly follow us up. Although I don't even know if that's the right strategy. I just never, never hunt at night. Basically, I don't raid at night anymore. Bloated zombie. Uh, we haven't seen them before. When they get exploded, when they die, they explode into a cloud of poisonous gas, which will significantly reduce our strength, uh, which makes fighting really, really difficult. Why do you have two rubber hoses on you? So we would like to give him a wide berth. Seeing quite a few monsters here. Oh, we have to go this way to get to the... Uh, we'll head up here. Well, I was going to say because there will be less zombies here. Because it's just an empty field. Oh, hello, listener zombie. So this is the, like we talked about in the last episode, this is the upgraded version of the uh, headless zombie. These hear extremely well, so they track you very well in the darkness. Um, that's their thing, is that they're very good at hearing things. They're ear zombies. They're called listener zombies. Um, that's kind of their whole spiel. So I think we will stand here a little bit and deal with some of these enemies. And honestly, if we could just wait. Yes, you are not really dangerously close. That was a misleading sentence okay seen quite a few of them let's try to rest in the darkness again ignore yes see it said spotted it didn't even give me the dangerously close message that time okay just hang out smash 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 anything i just wish the messaging was a little bit more intuitive because i often hit ignore and it seems fine and then 
other times you hit it and it's like it doesn't give you any messages and I just don't understand. So let's get our stamina back. Yes, because that will definitely track me down in the darkness. Um, we did find a drill which we were looking for previously to make the next better spear. Problem is we've already we've got a forge now so we can just skip over that. Oh god. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, 25 minutes. I mean, I could turn this into its own little thing. Why don't we call the episode? We see a zombie necromancer. We'll talk about that in the next episode. For now, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll be back with more Cataclysm content in the near future. And I'll see you next time.